Throughout chess history, players have been studying the various ways to start chess games. There are hundreds of possibilities and variations on those possibilities, each affecting the outcome of the game. Experienced players eventually develop favorite moves, and many of these openings or opening books have names. In this tutorial, we'll introduce you to several of the most popular openings, but you can also go to Chess Master's library and study other variations. You'll find over 2,000 opening books referenced there. When you use Chess Master, if you look in the lower left corner of your screen, you'll find the name of the opening you're currently using. This opening, you'll notice, is called the Sicilian Defense. It's characterized by white playing on the E-file and black playing on the C-file. So pieces are not exchanged as quickly as they would be if the pawns were played on adjacent files. This is one of the oldest and most popular opening systems, and there are a number of continuing variations on it. Many players, including Bobby Fischer, have played it. In contrast to the Sicilian is the French defense. The opening moves in the French are E4 and E6. The lack of open files in this position will result in fewer pieces being taken early in the game. This means it's considered to be a closed position. One of the disadvantages of this opening for black is that the light-squared bishop will have a hard time getting developed. Another of the most popular openings is called the Ruy Lopez, or Spanish. The moves of the Ruy Lopez opening are e4, e5, knight f3, attacking the pawn, knight c6, defending the pawn, and bishop b5, attacking the defender. Memorize the look of the board in this position, and you'll always be able to recognize the Ruy Lopez opening. The next opening we'll look at is called the King's Indian. The moves of the King's Indian opening are d4, knight f6, c4, g6, knight c3, and bishop g7. There are other variations of Indian defenses as well. They're usually characterized by the development of the bishop toward the side. When a bishop is placed on b2 or g2 for white, or b7 or g7 for black, it's called a fianchetto. Getting your bishop to one of these squares means it's poised to take advantage of the long diagonal. The last opening we'll look at is called the queen's gambit. A gambit is an opening in which you plan to lose material in exchange for fast development of your pieces or control of the center. The moves of the queen's gambit accepted are d4, d5, c4, and since black will have a difficult time holding onto his d5 pawn, he plays d takes c4. In another version of the queen's gambit, the queen's gambit declined, the moves are d4, d5, c4, and in this version, black opts to support his pawn rather than sacrifice it, so he plays e6. From which opening book is this board set up? Correct. Which opening book results in this board setup?
That's right. Which opening book results in this board setup? Correct. Which opening book results in this board setup? You got it right. From which opening book is this board set up? Correct. From which opening book is this board set up? That's correct.